Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Mini Arts Sebastopol 1941. This particular kit is basically a diorama out of a box in which you get everything that you need to make a diorama. You get the base, the building, and even the figures. The reason why I bought this particular kit was for no reason at all. When I was shopping around, this particular kit looks pretty good to me, so I just simply bought it. So let's go ahead and start building this kit. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the instructions. The city street. The building, which is molded in one entire sheet of plastic. This looks like the um, lamp post. Door, windows, gates. And the figures. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building this kit. Right now I'm holding up the instruction sheet and the instruction sheet is very simple. There's about nine steps here in, in this particular kit and in the, in the other side of this instruction sheet there is a uh, color reference of how to put this, uh, the figures together. And on the very bottom of here there are some propaganda posters where you just have to be cut out and glued on to the uh, actual building. So let's go ahead and start um, building this kit now. I'm going to um removed excess plastic so I'm using a blunt end of my uh, hobby knife and using a straight edge I'm going to scribe a straight line and keep on scribing it here for a few strokes and then I'm going to remove the excess plastic by snapping it open I'm finding that removing, um, this, removing the building is actually hard. Um, when it comes to a straight line like right here, it's easy to snap off. But when it comes to these jagged areas right here, um, it doesn't snap off easily. So I had to use my hobby knife and actually cut like a saw. And I had to be very careful so I won't cut myself to actually get these, um, to, get, to remove this extra excess plastic right here. Right now you're looking at um, the section of the building. Now, I found out that the name of these um, parts, I think it's called vacuum form, vacuum form parts. And the pet peeve that I have about vacuum form parts is that when you put them together, there is, these, there is this huge, huge gaps right here. There's two ways to actually fill the gaps. One is to use um, putty, like, like the ones you would use for uh, aircraft, model aircraft, to fill in the seams. Or, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ordinary pre-mixed tile grout. Pre-mixed tile grout is something that's very good for this kit because it has um, a good texture to it. It's very, it's very rough looking and it adds more realism to this kit because it's uh, a ruined building.
All right, this is the completed construction of the kit. And as you can well see, um, it looks pretty good. I like the building. It looks very well detailed. And although constructing the building itself was pretty hard because of the large seam, using towel grout to actually fill those seams um, did a terrific job. And in fact, the rough texture of the towel grout actually enhanced the diorama. I like the lamp post and door, and the ground material looks pretty darn well too. Since the, con uh, the construction of the diorama is all finished, let's go ahead and uh, start building the figures now. Right now you're looking at the instruction sheet on assembling the figures. And as you can see, the face, which is C6, you're supposed to glue that onto the torso, C1. And then you're supposed to glue the arm, C5, to C1 to make the figure. Here's the interesting part. You're looking at the sprue, and as you can well see, there are no numbers. There are no numbers for me to actually glue the figures together. I'm going to have to guess on how to glue the figures right. I just finished completing all the figures and they're actually pretty good to me. The, the, the quality of these figures are very, very nice. I like um, this man's gun. Very impressive looking, very, de very well detailed. He looks pretty good too. I like the backpack, his sack looks very well. This is my favorite. Very good um, body posture. Very good facial expression. He looks good. And here is the commander. It's time to paint my model kit. I just installed my homemade hood because I'm going to use enamel spray paint. And if you plan to use enamel spray paints like I do, then it's always a good idea to actually use a hood so all the vapors can actually leave your room out into the open. So the first step in painting my model kit is I'm going to give my model kit a coat of primer. model shadows so I'm going to paint my entire model black. I removed my hood and from here on out I'm going to use a quick spray paint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the building.
I want to give my diorama a grimy appearance and to do that I'm going to give it a wash. What you see right here is a solution of mineral spirits mixed with black artist oil paint and I'm going to simply um, brush this all over the entire model to give it a grimy appearance. I'm going to do some dry brushing. Dry brushing is basically um, giving highlights to the entire model with a lighter color. What you see right here is a lighter color of the building. I'm going to take a small amount of the material right here, brush off most of the paint, and then very lightly put it onto the model to give highlights. This sailor is wearing a two-colored uh, uniform. He wears a black pants and a blue jacket. I'm going to paint the black first. I'm going to do some dry brushing. I'm going to give this model a, um, a darker wash to give shadows. Okay, here is the completed uh, figure, all painted up, ready to go. And as you can all well see, it's a good painted figure. Not the best, but it's a good one. And here's another one that I painted. The paint work looks good. And here is another one. He looks pretty good. Not the best, but it looks good. Here's another one. And here's the last figure. If you're interested in knowing exactly how I painted these, uh, these figures, I made a video earlier called Tamiya Imperial Japanese Navy Fighter Pilot. In that particular video, it has um, more details on how I painted these model figures. Alright, so I completed the model kit from start to ending. I constructed the kit, I made the building, I made the base, painted the figures, painted the, um, the, the diorama, weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you my completed results. Take a look. This is the completed model kit from start to finish. And as you can well see, it's a, a very well detailed model kit. What I like about the best is the building itself. Even though I had a hard time um, putting this together because of fit issues, after painting and weathering it, it looks really, really nice. The ground material looks pretty darn good. And the figures are good as well. This is a very good kit. And I like this diorama so much that what I plan to do in the future is that I like to use this diorama uh, as a backdrop for photo taking of my future um, model kit figure building. It's such a nice diorama. That completes the model kit. So this particular kit was actually better than I expected. Um, I have to be quite frank with you, I'm not much of a fan of vacuum form uh, model parts. It's not very accurate and I got so used to um, having injection mode parts that making this kit was kind of a throwback for me. But the end results of making this kit is really, really good. I really like the base and uh, the building actually turned out pretty darn good too. And in fact, I think I like this diorama so much that I think I might actually use um, the diorama as a backdrop for future um, you know, model, kits, model kit figures here. So what you're going to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a uh, expert at model kit building. I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. Many of these techniques that I learned, uh, that I showed you in this video, I learned on the internet, just like you. 
I hope this video um, encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model figure, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and have a great day.